Johnny Fontana, Half Amazing TV, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the art of phrase mixing meets breakdown mixing meets vocal mixing, right? Now, there's a whole lot of talk about some DJs not doing a lot of stuff, you know, in terms of effects and just playing back to back to back. What they don't realize is that when you do a breakdown mix or when you do phrase mixing, right? Essentially, what you're doing is you're keeping the momentum going. You're keeping the music flowing, right? As opposed to what you see here, it's a bunch of like, you know, teenage folks. There's nothing wrong with teenage, but young folks just partying and for that hype, you know, the drops, quick drops, quick fast. There's a time and place for that. But when you're more of like a serious crowd like this, right? They expect a little bit more from the DJ. You know what I'm saying? They're a little bit more cultured, um, a little bit more sophisticated, and they're into the dance, they're into the atmosphere, they're into the groove, they're into the journey. Um, and it's not just in and out. They don't have that ADD like some other younger party goers, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's two different scenes, you know, you can bouncing forth, back and forth from the different scenes. However, though, you want to make sure that, you know, when you're along these sophisticated crowds, you are generating a movement and a journey that relates to them. And that being said, it's a little bit more involved. It's a little bit more intricate. You have to align these mixes and you have to be on point with the phrasing. If not, then it, it messes things up and it doesn't, hit right so what i'm going to show you uh, i'm going to go ahead and, and and show you the final process but before i do that i have to explain to you what i'm doing here okay so as you see in this image here i have the uh, days go by final uh camel fat extended mix right so this is the breakdown and this is how it goes in it drops after the uh, breakdown, right? And this is how it ends. And a lot of DJs, they like to do this, right? Mainly when you talk about boring DJs, it's just going from like intro to outro. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you have like a song like this, you don't want it to end off like that. And then go into another song. Like you want to keep this momentum and you want to keep this dry. So I'm going to mix it along with this song. Right? So you don't want to go from this, well, you don't want to go from, from this, okay, to, to that. A lot of DJs, they do that, right? When they go, you know, in and out. But you want to be able to now take this and create a whole different uh, dynamic and range. However, I don't want to mix, start mixing it here because there's nothing here. So I want to start, here, right where the where the bass is. However, though, this has got that sound here, so I'm gonna start it here. Or well, I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. Sorry. Right, but even though I have to now match it with this breakdown because of the phrasing, and I can't, I'm gonna drop it here. But I'm gonna let it go here, but because of the fact that I'm I am one, two, three, four bars off, I need to now extend that loop and let go of the loop after the four bar has passed. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's why I say there's a difference between the producer mindset and the DJ mindset. Producers, like we know, are like very scientific you know, folks, a lot of nerdy DJs, nothing wrong with that. But what I'm saying is that when you have, when they do tutorials, they'll break down one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and like they'll break everything down scientifically and basic for you. That's good, there's nothing wrong with that, but you can tell like those are the more scientific minds, intellectuals, whereas the artist, our minds, the DJ mindset is very big, big picture so a producer will start off with like samples 
and create music and then eventually ah okay i'm getting something i'm getting somewhere and then create you know a song whereas for the dj we're not really thinking about the song itself like that's just one piece we're thinking about okay i'm playing tonight i'm gonna be at this venue i'm gonna have this demographic around this time it's gonna be this demographic and i'm gonna get an older crowd around this time the, the, the opener is going to play this and then when it, if it's because I know it's rainy season so therefore I may have to extend or I'm, I may have to reopen my set and I'm going to start off with this, this, this. When I, when I walk into the club, I see the crowd. Okay, I'm going to start with this track and then from there I'll be able to. So for us, it's big picture and then when we're in the moment, we figure out the details. Okay, well, you know what? This track is not going to go based on you know the movement set so then I'm going to go into a different track. Whereas the producers, they already hear and they have to work into the details. So that's why it's very, you got to really finesse how you orchestrate these, um, these mixes to include the vocals and, and, and the breakdowns. And that's why you, you don't really have a lot of time to do the effects and all that stuff, especially when you want to land all these, these, these perfect um, phrase mixing, right? And especially with the loop and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and play the, the track out. As I'm playing it, I'm going to be explaining to you exactly what I'm doing. All right. So you'll have a picture of the uh, mixer. And I'll have the, uh, the screen up. And let's just, let's just get on with it. All right. Let's go. I'm gonna do a quick uh, test, so you know it's me, right? I gotta do an authenticity check. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm not gonna play the whole thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, play it, and then uh, I'm while I'm setting up the strike here. So. You know, let, let's say we're playing live. I don't know where we're going. I don't know if I'm even going to play this track. But let's just say I'm deciding that, that I'm going to play this track, right? start introducing the uh, be electric track right per phrases now I'm not gonna count it but as the track changes see that's a phrase right there right basically in sections that's what phrase mixing is eight bar or 16 bar so when the next one changes I'm, I'm gonna start introducing it now Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut the bass off from here and start over here. But watch, you gotta like. So 
the loop is still going now. You can tell that I'm using the CDJs to Because that, that phrase is off by four bars, I have to wait for it to drop and then wait four bars. So that's four, three. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Now I'm keeping the reason why I did that is because I didn't want it to go all the way to the um, to the vocals too soon. So I have to wait. And the reason why I want it to be even. And I have to keep the EQs low. Now I'm gonna start bringing the EQ down on here. So there's so much going on right now. Imagine if I'm doing loops and, and, and all kind of crazy stuff. I mean, I'm doing loops, but imagine if I was doing like extra stuff, it would just mess up the vibe. Now from here, you can start doing your thing, you know? See, right now you gotta start getting your, your next track open. So okay, I'm gonna play this track. See, I have to get my next track ready. See, it's too loud, right? You see? minutes now so I'm doing all that and I have two minutes now to put the next track in so what am I gonna put what am I gonna put that's why in your mind you're really gonna have to know what I'm going to play in your mind you know what I'm saying to you that's why you have to know your music you have to play this stuff out in your mind because there's so much time going on cool all right Johnny Fontana, half amazing TV. So let's go over it real quick, all right? So basically what I did right there was do a set. Now, you're wondering, okay, well, how long did it take for me to figure that out? You know how long it took for me to figure it out? I played that song because I got the uh, Days Go By yesterday. 
Um, and I was like, ooh. And then, and then I had another track that I had just gotten yesterday too. I was like, oh, you know what? I think they go. Just because of me understanding, that's why. Because when I hear music, I'm like, oh, okay, this may go with that. And then you test it. And if it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, it, it doesn't. But now you know it. And that's how you get used to pairing music and so forth and so on. Now, the thing about it is that it all depends on how you want to play out your music, right? If, let's say, you wanted to go from that to another style, then, yeah, you can take the intro and let the intro extend and then bring in the other song, you know, from the, the sorry, the outro on, on that song on the uh, Days Go By. Let, you know, the outro beat, boom, 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 and then the, the intro from the other one, boom, 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 to create a different vibe. But I wanted to keep this vibe. I wanted to keep it going. I wanted to keep that sophisticated, that sexy crowd going and bring it up. But without all the effects, because I'm not a trickster. Some people are a trickster. Um, so you want to play like-minded artists that have a similar sound, and then you kind of start slowly bridging it into maybe something more harder or something softer, and you, and you tell a story. And you, and you take the person on a journey where it, it sounds great. But when you start doing that, like throwing stuff in here and there, and it has no type of flow to it, that's the difference between what we do and what they do. And when you have the bing, boom, boom, trap style, EDM stuff, that's good for it. If you have the more filtery stuff, that's good. You, you can do that as well with that. Um, but I don't play that kind of style. You know what I'm saying to you? You have to know who you are, what kind of style you play, and I'm not so much of a trickster. And the thing about it is that it's unfortunate because you have most of these DJs who play the slower, techy, techno, deeper vibes. They're not doing all these trick, trick and stuff. They're not doing all that stuff. They're playing deeper because you can't. And they don't get anything for it. But for some reason, other DJs, it's like, well, you're not doing this. You're not doing that. But old dude, he's not doing it. So why are you not complaining? Oh, well, he's different. For us, it was always the hypocrisy. If everybody's sort of branded with the same brush, okay, we can live with that. But, you know, you'd see some people would be exalted and their sins were forgivable. <laughs> you know, their tattoos were good and yours were bad. Their their nose ring was good, yours was... It was like this weird, like... And it really reminded me of high school, which I didn't like. So now I'm in the bigger high school and now we're playing with millions of dollars and millions of people and it's just like a popularity contest. And so it brought out maybe the worst or the best in my personality, which was like, I'm gonna take this on and I'm gonna use myself as the battering ram. So I'm gonna make it about me knowing it's not about me, which is weird because people can't actually process that. And then you ultimately come to the realization that people need heroes and they need anti-heroes. That's the way they process the world. Music to most people is a form of magic. Come on. You know what I'm saying to you? Um, again, it's all about the music. You say, let's support the music. You got to appreciate the, the, the music, so let the music play. And you got to appreciate the dancers, too. You got to help them out as well. If you start doing all these funky, crazy stuff, especially with this kind of music, it's kind of difficult. But I really hope you understand where uh, I'm coming with this because uh, I don't break things down Bonnie style. I'm just not good at breaking down things detail i'm more big picture and so if you're the type that you need that the detail explanation you know barney style like i've been watching recently on youtube you know like okay where are we gonna go this is phrase mixing okay it's one two three one one two three two one two three three one two three four and it gets very just barney style and okay let's make room and then bring this down and it's very like like you're trying to sell me something, you know? And I'm like, yo, dude, let's just this raw with DJs. You know what I'm saying? We're not sellers. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, so, but I think I got the point across. Check it out. You have the songs. You know um, what I did with the EQ. You have the visuals. Uh, so just go home and try it and tell me what you think. And guess what? You can do the same with this as you can do with or you can do the same with other tracks as you can do with this okay the thing about this is that the reason why and you have to know again phrasing it's like you can't put it certain places i had to extend it because if i let if i let the loop go too early then i would have had just you know this would have been too busy the the, the days go by would have been too busy 
and I would have been going into the vocals and that would have been starting and now and it would not have started good so I had to allow that to die down a little bit and then get into that and then but I needed to loop it in the bass before it died down so that I can keep that momentum so all of these things are playing a factor and it's just it's just you have to realize that you have to be on your game and you got to be sharp and this is the stuff that keeps me sharp keeps me going so then when I play out my mind is sharp for other things and I, I'm looking out for the de for the bartenders who's having a good time you know is it you know raining outside and you know the crowd is is, is not as as um as enthusiastic you know as it would would be if it was you know uh you know um uh, a clear evening or whatever you know so i'm saying to you like you, all these things you have to pay attention to but also concentrate on this so it's like you have to multitask in order to be able to land these perfections so hope you enjoyed it i'm back and um there's nothing more to it but just to do it johnny fontana half amazing tv we out